Lesson 3.3, Proving Lines Parallel. This causes problems. A lot of people are pretty good at the whole parallel lines thing, and then suddenly I say, okay, the lines are not necessarily parallel. They say, no, no, obviously they're parallel. I say, no, they're not. Your job is to prove them parallel. It's not easy. To do this, we have to start with a postulate, meaning we can't prove it. It's a given. And this is the corresponding one. What is this compared to postulate 11? Postulate 10, that is. Hopefully you'll know that this is converse. So this is this situation here. You say, oh, line L is parallel to line M. Notice I know how to draw a script L on a script M. Very proud of myself. So you've got it flipped. Before, we had two parallel lines. Angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent by postulate 10. Now we have two corresponding angles that are congruent. Line L and line M are congruent by postulate 11. This is going to happen a lot, so get it down. Going forwards and backwards, or backwards and forwards, depending on your point of view. One way, we know they're parallel. The other way, we don't know they're parallel. We have to prove them parallel. So this gives us some theorems, just like the previous class. Two lines are cut by a transversal. And angle one and angle two are given as congruent, then we know these are parallel lines. It's a theorem so we can prove it. I would pause the recording and try it yourself. So I would say angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 because of vertical angles. And then I would say angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 by substitution. And you might be tempted, because that's what I just drew, to say, oh, I'm done. But you're not done. You have to prove that these lines are parallel. Call it line N and line P. Yes, I know how to make a script P. So then you would say N is parallel to P. And this would be because of corresponding angles. Now, that's the same. Same reason written down, but it's different. This is saying if the two angles are corresponding in a transversal and two lines, we have parallel lines. Previously, it was saying if two lines are parallel and corresponding angles are congruent. This is tricky. I'll go over it several times. Make sure you understand it. Same thing here as last time. I will not do the proof. Don't know that they're parallel. We do know that measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180. That's given. So now you would have to say, oh, that means the lines are parallel because... 1 and 3 add up to 180. 2 and 3 are congruent by corresponding angles. So on and so on. So, it actually doesn't sound correct. I'm curious if I did that wrong. I mean, you guys are going to have to figure it out. These are add up to 180. These add up to 180. Sounds like we're going to subtract out an angle by itself. Because we can't use corresponding angles. We don't know if these lines are parallel. Interesting. 
I'll have to give that as a proof in class. Two lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel. Perpendicular, perpendicular. L, M, oof, that was bad. M, N. If L is perpendicular to M and N is perpendicular to, yeah, I'll keep it in the same order, L is perpendicular to N, then M is parallel to N. Good proof to try. Now, there's a few more theorems. They're related to what we're doing, and they might be used in future proofs. There's a theorem, and the proof is kind of goofy. There's a point. It's outside of a line. There's only one line that's going to be parallel. Proof's goofy. Don't worry about it. Same thing, except line, point. It's only one line that is perpendicular. And line, parallel. Line. Parallel. Have to use colors, otherwise it looks like three and they're not parallel. So these two are parallel. These two are parallel. If this is the case, then if L is parallel to M and M is parallel to N, then L is parallel to N. I call it a duh theorem. Shocking. So, if I've asked you to show that two lines are parallel, here are the five ways you can do it. Number one, show a pair of corresponding angles are congruent. Show a pair of alternate interior angles are congruent. Show a pair of same side interior angles are supplementary, by which I mean... You look and you say, I can prove 1 and 2 angles add up to 180. Then you can say, these lines are parallel. You have to do it in that order. Show they're both perpendicular to the same line. That's the theorem we did. And show they're both parallel to a third line, which is kind of a duh theorem. These are problems you're going to want to tackle. Try them. See what works. Quiz coming up does not have a lot of proof stuff on it. It's more conceptual, but the proof's keep coming so make sure you know what you're doing that's it good luck